Hello my friends and welcome to this update video for the masses for the date of 121-22. I find it funny, don't you? <laughs> anyway, um, it's been quite a very rough month for us all. I mean, for those still around, thank you for still being around. I know it's been tough on each and every one of us especially for the last two years that we've been going through this planetary crisis of sorts but for most of us who are still here well we're still here there's no point in worrying about it so in the words of the great Ivan Drago if they die, they die. I mean, <clears throat> so far we've lost quite a few people on the way to getting to 20 double XD 22. And even more have joined the fold of well, going to that great Hollywood in the sky. For one, um, there was Meatloaf, and I mean, for, as far as this year has started, Betty White, because she passed away before hitting 100. Then there's recently Meatloaf, and on top of that, there's Louis Anderson. So, you yeah, know, it is what it is, you know. If you don't take good care of yourself or for some reason you had a history of disease, yeah, it's going to happen. So, nothing you can do about it. Moving on. Because I'm, I'm getting this out right now because I don't want to hear about it later on. But did you hear about? Yes, I know. How do I know? Twitter. That's how. So we're getting this out of the way. We're getting the elephant in the room out of the way. Okay, so next thing on the list. What we're going to do for tonight. For tonight's stream. Is... We're going to do it up on Bahamut Lagoon. Now, this version is a bit different because it's not done by the same translator. It's a new and improved version of Bahamut Lagoon, which is totally different from the one I did on my channel years ago. So therefore, this is totally fresh totally new and because it's a tactical RPG codes are going to be used because A. I'm streaming and B. I ain't got no time for you know grinding for items so therefore just to make everything just a whole lot easier just like pop in some cheats and just go from there everything else basically is the same old same old and the reason why I use cheese is basically speed up through the sloggy parts of the game. And just getting items is a very sloggy part of the game. And really, you know that I got time for that mess. I don't know how well these are going to go, but we'll find out together. Let's see. On top of that, Sunday, of course... Um, it's going to be another retro stream. Um, I'm going to finish up uh, Captain Tsubasa Super Striker. And probably do something after that. I might stream a bit earlier than usual. Not entirely sure. I'd see how my... My... Weekend's going to be like. 
you know. <clears throat> and since, you know, it's February, I mean, not February, since it's gonna be February, in like, like about a week or so, um, let's see, it's gonna be busy, it's gonna be real busy, things are really gonna change for Tenkai House. So, for the most part, we're just trying to get everything in line together just to basically settle things, get stuff paid off, like namely bills and whatnot. <laughs> that sort of thing. So, yeah. It's still January going into February, so we're not out of we're not out of this month yet we're just about there as far as my end goes well um still doing voice acting I'm still dealing with the system and let me just say it sucks Ugh, pardon the yawning, <clears throat> but you know, I'm not entirely a morning person per se, I'm more like an evening person, but when I get up, it's like I need a shot of coffee just like <clears throat> to get me going, or if not that, some kind of juice just to, you know, shake the cobwebs out of my head aside from all that though what I am going to do next week is I'm going to try to double stream which is probably when I did what I did one time and I think you know it both some interesting results so Monday um, is Detective Monday on on the stream channel, and that means I plan on doing part two of Sleeping Dogs for the PS4, but it won't be as long as it was the previous, and hopefully I could get some time in early to actually get you know us. A sleeping dog stream done and possibly after that for an after hour stream and keeping in line with detective theme games detective uh, 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 Nintendo detective club for the Super Nintendo this will be the second of the um of the games. The first one is not translated. It's still just there. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for when they do decide to get it translated. Fan translated, rather. But I plan to basically do that in Sleeping Dogs in one night. <clears throat> or rather one evening. I'll just stream Sleeping Dogs a little earlier, and then after that, say, get three, three, four hours in of that, and then hopefully by, say, eight o'clock my time, I'm on Pacific, mind you, I might be able to get the after hour stream going. Now, like I said, you know, I'm, I want to try something different my schedule of streaming because you know it provides more content actually if I could do it on one day well that'd be great next Wednesday I probably will switch back over to Super Robo Tyson 
and you know it'd be great if, it'd be great if we can actually get back to um Kudo Hill but you know I ran into like a bit of um like a bug of some sort because it, it really is like not entirely fully translated but it's translated where it counts as you can tell so therefore I'm gonna give that a rest and you know at least go in between those two streams so therefore one day is Yakuza the other one is Super Robot Tyson so next week will be Super Robot Tyson and like I said um, tonight and from here on until we're done with it is Bahama Lagoon the new translation so another thing I plan to do besides everything else I am also going to switch it up on on my projects especially secondary projects now usually whenever I do secondary projects they are either going to be like within two weeks you know I usually make like two weeks worth of content mainly like if I'm working on my main project that'll be for like say months at a time then depending on how long it is you know it might last like you know two months it might last three months or at least until it's finished or whatever Kingdom Hearts I could say is a very long project especially the second game the second game is really a long project because there are a lot of worlds I had to go through and of course the parts are about at least 40 to 50 minutes long I mean a standard fare would be like about 40 to 50 minutes long no longer than that if um if I run into a game over or a retry or something like that, then it, you know I would have to cut it out and you know, you know, get it right. Especially one part in the in the let's play that where I reached was basically like a bit of a shaky part because it's Pirates of the Caribbean. and they tend to bunch up on you if you're not careful plus you know I'm fighting more pirates than I am heartless so there's that now I mentioned my secondary projects so as you well know I have Digimon World redigitized which is the remake of the original Digimon World on PS1 but I prefer this version of Digimon World because the story is a lot better told. And on top of that, well, the RNG is a little more, a little more doable, per se. You know, it's not like, oh, you have these kind of stats that are like, in. Eh, You know, it's more like, oh, hey, you get this, get this, get this, get this, you know, your items from here, 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 and everywhere. But, you know, the more you, the more Digimon you come across and do for them, the more you unlock for Fall City. So, therefore, it's a lot more rewarding than the original, which the original really didn't have much of a story, which I didn't really like because, you know, it's like, I can't really do that because it basically was a slog the bells in the PS1 version really were a slog as compared to the PSP remake they aren't as bad 
They're basically more like, okay, you know what? This is what's going on. The battle is just more like streamlined. So they're a lot faster. So, my other secondary is going to be next week. Like I said, I'm going to start alternating between secondaries and you just keep the main going. So, the secondary project that you usually see right after Kingdom Hearts is going to be Blue Dragon Awakened Shadow. Shadow. I started recording a few episodes this week. So therefore, I have four ready to go, two up on channel for next week. The other two I'm definitely going to be putting up. I just need to find a time to actually put the other two. Yes, no. Anyway, um, what I was saying for is um, it's going to flip flop between you know Digimon World Redigitized and Blue Dragon Awaken Shadow, and like I said, I already got four episodes done, and I got two of them up for next two up for next week. I plan to upload the other two sometime today before I stream. So it just gives me more to do because one, one for certain, I'm going to be switching between, I, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of projects in between um, Kingdom Hearts, Front Mission 3, Panzer Paladin, Digimon World Redigitized and Blue Dragon Awakened Shadow. I'm basically just going through this, 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 this. So when we get into March, um, Front Mission 3 will already be going because that's going to start sometime next month. Because, let me tell you something. If you ever played a front mission game, the length of battles are, as, are just as long as, say, that of Bahama Lagoon. But the difference here in front mission versus Bahama Lagoon is that you're working with four units instead of say eight plus um, an extra unit which is your dragon unit and the, your dragon unit works it is your AI partner Front mission, you don't have no AI partner. You, you're just you and, you know, versus, like, four versus 12. And you basically have to force your opponent to actually give up or, you know, destroy their mech fully. So we got fantasy versus, you know... Some somewhat realistic, in a sense. I'll I'll say that. And if you don't know front mission, the mission lineup is long. So, the route I'm going, as far as that's concerned, is the M route, and that's seventy missions long. I only have eighteen parts ready to go up on the channel as we speak. Haven't put in the time to do any more front mission yet because I've been busy clearing out some space to do more parts. Because let me tell you, when you do 
when you do front mission, you're in for you're in for the long haul because that's what it is. Front mission is basically that kind of game that just like you're in for the long haul. So in between that, I've been doing Panzer Paladin, which I'm I'm seeing myself doing twice because I'm using a cheat, and the thing about the cheat is that it works but it doesn't save so what I'm doing is I'm playing it through the game twice once with a cheat the other without the cheat so I would have to play it either on camera or off camera depending on how I feel I'm going to do on it so I might do the cheat with you know off camera or on camera or or maybe both I don't know but the only difference is it doesn't save because Panzer Paladin auto saves whenever you enter a field okay there you go but the one thing I like about Panzer Paladin is that no matter what you do or no matter where you go you got five lives so therefore I mean I'm playing it all easy but that game is anything but easy I mean it's like Mega Man with a full-blown mech but at least the weapons are you know very tolerable and in the next um, the next time I actually put in work for Panzer Paladin I got a very interesting <laughs> a very interesting weapon that I downloaded from the workshop to go with everything else and plus on top of that my character is maxed out so therefore it's like grid is already maxed out on on energy so all I think will, will be known as like oh I had to finish these two then after that move on from there and then we go from there aside from everything else though um My secondary for after Panzer Paladin, well, that's that. I don't think I'm going to be doing for like the LP to the death. No, no, I already know what I'm going to do, and it's going to be um, New Gundam Builder, which actually I have to redo because because of what happened. I have to basically remake all those episodes I've done, but to make it easier on myself, I'm just going to go with the loadout I have on my current build. So, therefore, I have to redo at least two stories and maybe just replay part of the other story and then just go from there. And then after that, that's done. Now maybe I might do another secondary, aside from Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. That might be an LP to the death. You might see another LP to the death video concerning that when I get to it. Or I might just do the runner-ups for from the last one. I've done before Kingdom Hearts 2. Even though on the video I said Kingdom Hearts re Chain of Memories, it's actually 2. And I gave a good reason why. So therefore, it's going to be something interesting, to be sure. So aside from that, I don't think I have anything else I need to talk about. Because, like I said, um... I'm switching things up and I plan to do another PS4 let's play or maybe you know an episode of Chest of Obscurity on PS4 I don't know all I know is um, definitely Monday 
like I said, I'm going, I'm going to do it a little bit earlier with Sleeping Dogs. So therefore, you come in, you know, if people come in and they say I'm streaming, you know, I'm streaming early, but don't worry. If I stop, it's probably just to go get some need. And when I come back, I would have the after hours stream up, and that's around 8 o'clock. So there's that. So nothing to worry about. I'm just going, like I said, testing the waters with what can work for me. But for the most part, it's for content. I'm making this extra content just in case if I don't have anything extra or if I do have something extra oh hey that's something extra for the channel so therefore you know you you have my normal let's plays and then you have something I did on stream so therefore there you go so please feel free to join me tonight at Pookie is he 79 on Twitch that's who I am on Twitch it's Pookie is he 79 as well as on Twitter if you have that it's Pookie is he 7 and of course I'm on YouTube which is Pookie is he 7 so therefore I look forward to seeing you guys tonight at the stream if you can make it. So, I'll see you then. Until later on tonight.